stage main engine cutoff, or MECO. This is where all nine M1D engines on Falcon 9 uh, first stage will shut down. That will be followed immediately by stage separation, where the first and second stages separate. That will then be followed by second engine start, or SES-1, as will be written on the uh, there on the, the timeline at the bottom of your screen. And that is where the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite. And just a few seconds after that, uh, we'll have fairing deploy, where we jettison the two fairing halves to shed un unnecessary weight. And back chill has started. That call out there tells us that the second stage engine is preparing for its ignition. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. We can now see those grid fins deploying on the side of the first stage. Coming up next will be fairing deployment. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we heard the call out telling us that those fairing halves have been separated from the vehicle, exposing the payload uh, to the vacuum of space on the second stage. Now, if you're just joining us, you're watching live coverage of SpaceX's launch of the NROL-126 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. This mission continues the NRO's cutting-edge capability of building and developing the U.S. government's largest satellite constellation in history to deliver critical information that can only be obtained from the vantage point of space. Now, at our customer's request, we'll be ending our coverage of the mission just after landing of the first stage. We will attempt to recover the Falcon 9 booster on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is stationed in the Pacific Ocean. A bit of a special flight today, as this is this booster's first mission. Now, coming up in about a minute and a half, a little bit less than that, we will have the first stage entry burn begin. That lasts for about 20 seconds, and that is the first of two burns that the first stage will perform in order to make its way back to Earth. So the entry Both burn being... follow nominal trajectories. Entry burn is the first one, and that is where three Merlin engines will reignite, and that will help to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. A little bit more than a minute after the entry burn ends, we will have the landing burn, and that is the final burn for the first stage, and that is where a single engine uh, will ignite to help bring the vehicle speed down rapidly uh, in order to land softly on the drone ship. First stage continuing to make its way back to Earth. You can follow along with the telemetry there in the bottom left-hand side of your screen. We can see the altitude descending, and we'll see that speed begin to also, even though it is going fa continuing, the booster is continuing to go faster. We'll see this entry burn Stage kick one, on. Burn startup. There you can see entry burn has begun, and that speed uh, slowing down quite significantly.
stage one entry burn shut down. Okay, successful entry burn for the first stage. Now, additionally, to help Both the continue to follow nominal trajectories. Good news there, telling us that both first and second stage, while uh, not on screen, uh, they are, both vehicles are performing well and everything is as expected. Now we can see those grid fins there on the first stage. Falcon 9 has four of those hypersonic grid fins and they are positioned near the top of the first stage. They use those grid fins to help steer it as it returns to Earth. Falcon 9 also uses occasional Stage one, uh, thrusts. Transonic. Uh, Falcon 9 uses occasional thrusts or bursts of nitrogen gas to help with attitude control. Stage 1 and Stage 2, FTS is saved. All right, coming up next will be the landing burn of the first stage. Stage one landing burn. Stage two is entered terminal guidance. Stage one landing of course, like I still love you. Coming into clearer view. Stage one landing confirmed. And as always, a beautiful view of the rocket as it has landed on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. To put that deceleration into perspective, basically in the span of less than a minute, we reduced the speed of that booster from twice the speed of a jet all the way down to zero as it landed there. Now, this landing marks SpaceX's 300 and excuse me, 377th recovery of an orbital.